welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your leftover stuffing into those succulent stuffing meatballs. And these little guys are actually like a hybrid between a matzo ball and those tiny little meatballs you get in an Italian wedding soup. And they're going to transform your leftover turkey soup to new levels of deliciousness. So let's throw a batch together real quick. Okay, now to make this warm, hearty dish with a fabulous fusion of flavors that everybody's going to love, in a large bowl, I've got four cups of leftover bread stuffing, and maybe I'll have time to show you my version in a Thanksgiving throwback video in a couple of days. And to that stuffing, I'm going to add one pound of ground beef, and I've got an 80-20 grass-fed beef here, but you could go leaner if you want. Sprinkle over a half teaspoon of garlic powder, salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper flakes to taste. Add a half cup of grated Pecorino Romano. Toss in two eggs. Now mix it all together until you have all the stuffing broken down pretty well and you've got a nice homogenous mixture. And you don't need to worry too much about over mixing. Since two thirds of this mixture is bread, I'd be really surprised if you ended up with a tough meatball here. Now form this into balls that are about an inch and a half in diameter and place them onto a baking sheet lined with foil and sprayed with nonstick spray. Bake them for 25 minutes on the upper rack of your oven. Then you could either serve them as an appetizer or toss them into your favorite chicken or turkey soup and simmer for an additional 15 minutes. And I used my leftover turkey bones along with all the usual suspects to make a huge pot of broth. Then after straining, I added some carrots, celery, spinach, and peas. And of course some of the turkey meat I salvaged before I made the broth. Now gently add the stuffing meatballs. And incidentally, if I was going the appetizer route on these, I'd make them a tad smaller and let them brown for a few minutes under the broiler, then create some kind of dipping sauce. Go back to the soup. After adding some of your favorite gluten-free short pasta, your leftover turkey and stuffing have been transformed into a feast that's a cut above the average turkey noodle soup recipe. You're really going to love this. And if you'd like to print a copy of today's easy stuffing bowl recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.